Hello, I'm John Colley and welcome to 10 Copywriting Secrets You May Not Know. So you want to be a copywriter and master copywriting. Well, how many of these 10 copywriting secrets do you know? Are you looking for a copywriting job or do you need to learn how to write copy to market your products and services online? I'm guessing that unless you are auditioning for Mad Men, it's the second option. OK, I needed to do this too, and I'm really happy to share some of what I've learned about copywriting with you now. If you're excited about copywriting, you're going to love my free short video training course, which you can discover at the end of this video. So, secret one. Copywriting is a formula. Great written copy is organised text which is designed to trigger your emotional impulses to make you do what the writer wants. And this means that you can decode the formula and understand the what, the why and the how of every advertisement or promotional copy you've ever come across. Secret 2. Four things you need to know. Before you can start writing, you need to know four things about your audience. Why they bought the product, how they buy the product, what they use the product for and what really matters to them. Remember, people buy on emotion, but they justify their purchases rationally. If you can answer these four questions, you can start to focus your script to address them, and if you answer all four questions in the mind of your reader, you're much more likely to end up making a sale. Secret number three, your customer can write your script for you. If you ask your customers the right questions, they will write your copy for you. The key, of course, is to know what questions to ask. Here are ten of my suggestions. Question number one, who are you and what do you do? This helps you to build your image of your ideal customer avatar. Two, what does your question... Two, what does our product do for you? Find out how they use the product, listen to the words they use to describe it and make a note of them. Three, which features influenced your buying decision? Four, which features were the most important. Find out the pain they were suffering and how the features in question solved the problem for them. Question five, which competing products did you consider? Identify your competition so that you can start to differentiate yourself from them. Question six, what made you choose our product? Get the customer to identify your unique selling points in their view. Question 7. Is there anything that made you hesitate before you bought? Identify their objections so that you can address these early in the copy. Question 8. Was there anything that you needed to know about but could not find the answer to? This is essential information you're going to need to include in your copy. Question 9. What would have helped you to make a faster decision? This is more good material. And question 10, how would you recommend our product to someone you know? And this is absolute gold. Note word for word the words they're using and then get a testimonial from them if you can as well. Secret number four, every piece of copy needs to be a clear proposition. Every sale is making an offer and a promise to the buyer which needs to be clearly stated and easily understood. In an online piece of copy, this needs to appear on the first screen before they scroll down, i.e. it has to be above the fold. The four things you need to get across are the headline or title. Get your audience's attention from the outset, but also ensure that you include the key benefit in this statement. In the subheadline, you need to include more benefits and keywords if you're doing uh, online stuff as well, obviously for the online search engines, in order to keep your audience reading your piece. Try to explain your offer, who it's for and the key benefits. Bullets. 
include a few bullet points. This makes it easier to read. Just think about the sales pages on Amazon, for example. Three to five bullets should be just fine. Explain the key features and benefits. Don't leave out the benefits. And finally, include an image. We all like a good product image, so include at least one here. Don't worry if half the image goes below the fold on your screen. This will make your reader scroll down to see it, and that will make them more likely to read the rest of your copy. Secret 5. How to boost the attractiveness of your product. Let's face it, we all like a deal. If you can add some features to your offer, which your competitors do not offer, then this will help you to stand out. Try including some of these next time you put a sales proposal together. And if in doubt, see what Amazon does and copy them. Free shipping, fast shipping or next day shipping. Add a free bonus with your purchase. A free setup or installation if this is applicable. A no setup fee. No long term contract you they can cancel at any time. A license for multiple devices so that you can use one piece of software on more than one computer. A money back guarantee. Absolutely critical. Maybe a price discount. And if you can, offer customization. If you're finding this series of points helpful, then at the end of this video, you're going to be able to discover my free video training and the link where you can get it. So hang on to the end of the video so you can pick that up. Secret six, the five keys to converting your customer. As mentioned above, making a sale is about making an emotional connection with your customer or prospect. So think about addressing these five issues to make it easier for them to buy from you. Motivation. How desperately do they need your product or service? And therefore, when are they likely to buy? You can increase their motivation by reminding them of the pain and difficulty they are in and also getting them to imagine how wonderful things are going to be when they've solved their problem using your product or service. Clarity of value proposition. This is getting value to trump price. If they believe that the value of your proposition is high, the price will appear reasonable. If not, it won't. This is why you have to focus on benefits over features, explaining to them how they will benefit from their purchase. Incentive to take action. You want them to buy now, so adding reasons for them to do this is important. Time-limited offers, scarcity of the product, extra bonuses which are only available for a limited time. All these give your customer a reason to buy now. Reduce transaction friction. Amazon has a one-click checkout which makes it really easy to buy from them and they patented it too which shows how valuable they think it is. Make it as easy as possible with as few steps as possible for your customer to close the deal with you. Minimize anxiety. Explain exactly, exactly what the customer has to do, what information is needed, where and why. Provide as much information about the sales process, including what happens after the purchase is made. The final step is offering a money back guarantee. Take away all the risks so they don't have to worry about it. Very few people actually claim these, but by reversing the risk and putting the risk all on you, they will have their final purchase objection removed. Secret 7. Persuasion is not a science. Just ask Professor Robert Cialdini, or better still, go and read his books. Influence and Persuasion are the two I'd recommend. He has come up with six principles which will help you to influence the people to do what you want them to do. Reciprocity. If you give something to someone, they will feel obliged to give something back to you. Share something valuable, give away something for free or add value before you try to sell. Liking. We all prefer to do business with people we like. So make an effort and be a little more friendly. 
My wife tells me to do this all the time, Mr Grumpy. It takes time to get to like people, which is why you can expect to have six or seven interactions with someone before they're ready to buy from you. Social proof. In the world of online social media, this has never been more true. If I tell you something wonderful about me, you won't believe it. But if your best friend tells you something wonderful about me, the chances are you will. Authority. We all look up to people we regard as experts. So given that an expert is only really someone who knows more than you do, try positioning yourself in a position of authority vis-a-vis -vis your prospects. So, you want to try to get your customer to take the first small step towards becoming a customer. And you do this by getting them to make a small, low-ticket, maybe $7 purchase. This will make them much more likely, at a later stage, to make a larger purchase from you. Scarcity. People want what they cannot have. And so, if you threaten to take it away from them after a limited time, they will be drawn towards it. Enough said. Secret 8. The Selling Probability Formula Pain times claim times gain. Let's take a look at pain. Identifying the pain and reminding them of how bad it is. Don't be afraid to really twist the knife here. You want your prospects to be really miserable. Multiplied by claim. You have to be able to back up what you say with proof, evidence, testimonials, test results, case studies. The more believable you make your proposal, the more likely your prospects are to make the investment. Multiplied by gain. What's in it for me? Really communicate that your prospect will have a much better future after making the wise decision to invest in your product and service. Benefits need to be explained but you will want them to feel that things are going to be better in their life and for their family, and then they will jump at your proposal. Secret 9. Peeling back the product layers. When you think about your products and services, you should think about them as having unexplored depths, and it's your job as a copywriter to explore those depths and peel back those layers. Don't just mix your metaphors. At the most basic level, products and services have features which you can list and specify. These are interesting, but not that interesting if you're trying to sell. So you go down a layer and you look at the benefits relating to those features. Answer the so what question or continue the features sentence with so that. This explains how the item does what it does and why that feature helps you solve the problem. The next layer down helps you address the benefits which accrue from solving the problem with the entire product, as opposed to the nitty-gritty of its specifications. This includes saving you time, money, making your life easier, more pleasurable, healthy, wealthy and wise. And finally, we get down to the emotional level. And this is where the selling really happens. This is where you connect with the product because it excites you, gives you a sense of relief or a peace of mind, or where you feel the product is going to help you achieve something or gain recognition. The deeper your sales message goes, the more sales you will make because you will connect with your customer on an emotional and not a rational level. Secret 10. The Simple Sales Formula Sales letters come in all shapes and sizes, but understanding the simple framework is a great place to start. There are basically 10 steps, and remember the sequence is what is really critical. Let me just introduce you the, the four key parts of this sequence. Part 1 gets attention. Part 2 positions the product. Part 3 delivers the offer. And Part 4 overcomes objections and closes. So let's look now at the 10 steps. Step 1, headline and subheadline. This gets your reader's attention and gets them to read further to, to develop their interest in your product or service. Step 2, you identify the pain. 
They may have forgotten they have the pain, so you need to remind them and make them really feel it. Without this, they're most, un most unlikely to buy. Step 3. Story and Credentials Establish empathy with your audience by telling them your story. Everyone loves stories. How you struggled for years, found the solution and created the product or service and then demonstrate your expertise to establish your authority. Step 4. Benefits Explain the benefits of your product or service and how these address their needs and solve their problem. And yes, you really do need to spell it out to them. Step 5. Social proof testimonials. It really helps to establish the credibility of your sales pitch to get third-party affirmation, so don't miss this step out. Step 6. Make your offer. So now you can make your pitch and name your price. They should be ready to listen to your offer, but they may not have yet overcome the objections which are all still in their heads. These are normally centred around, it won't work, it won't work for me and I can't afford it. Step 7. Make a guarantee. Reverse the risk. Make the proposition risk-free by offering a money-back guarantee. Step 8. Scarcity. You want them to buy and you particularly want them to buy now. Later never happens. So give them a reason to close the deal in a very short time frame. Step 9. Call to action. Tell them exactly what they need to do to complete the sale. And step 10, add some PSs. These PSs are designed to reinforce your sales message and particularly your call to action. So these are my 10 copywriting secrets, but they're just the starting point of mastering copywriting, which actually is really great fun to do. I particularly enjoy reading adverts in magazines and newspapers and deconstructing them to understand why they are saying, what they are saying and how they say it. So if you'd like some more free training from me, click this link to enroll in my short video training course or click the link immediately below this video in the uh, discussion box, in the comments box below this video. So it's very easy to do. The link is a pretty link. It's jbdcolleague.com free video training. So just click on that link and it'll take you across to where you can find the video training and learn even more about copywriting in a very straightforward and easy to understand way. So thank you for being with me in this video. I really hope you found these 10 secrets helpful and I really look forward to being with you again in another one of my videos.